You know, one thing about YouTube that's good is uh, we all get to meet with uh, people who have similar interests. We've got uh, Snow King 55 that I like to follow. I've got YK up at Great Slave Lake, uh, Streeter's Garage, and my old sled up in uh, Great Bruce Peninsula. Uh, another good one that I like to follow is Mudbrats TV. And uh, today I'm meeting up with them at the Bellwood Lake Conservation Area, and we're going to go for a ride. This is kind of a local ride for us. It's about an hour away from my house, and I think it's about the same for Mudbrats. So, anyway, stay tuned. We're going to have a good show. If you watch part one on Mudbrat's TV channel, you'll find that we left you after part one, lost and confused. We even considered calling it a day, but we decided to move forward and head north to the Homestead restaurant. After a quick refuel in Fergus, we hit the trails. I had one of those how could we be so stupid moments when I passed the part where we went wrong in part one. And when we came to the sign walking us into the Homestead Trail, we kept our cool. You know, no big deal. As we got closer to the destination, you could see it was a great day to be on the trails. We got a kick out of the kid on the free ride. And this little guy on the Viper. As we entered the Homestead property, you could barely hear the sled engines over the sound of our stomachs rumbling. We were so happy to find the place. The parking lot was like a snowmobile show. We loved it. We took a moment to line our sleds up and grab a few photos for Instagram and Facebook and we chatted with a few friends in the parking lot before we headed inside. Tired and weary, I held open the door as the brat pack meandered in. Some faster than others. When we walked inside, I think there was a lineup even of people waiting for autographs from Mark Boat and Mudbrats TV. I could be wrong though. Hold on to my
Those are the power lines. <laughs> These kids can't handle their liquor, hey? Good lord. What's that? Yeah, the zipper should be though. No, it's just loose. It's just a cover. Yeah. Don't need it. Are you having fun, Moose? No? This field flipper. This couple field flippers are false person. I know. <laughs> but you know what? They do, and then you get thinking, what's the date today? What the fuck is up with that? Yeah, but what's the date today? Yeah, and we're in southwestern Ontario fucking snowmobiling. How do you beat that? Yeah, but you're asking the same question on February the 4th, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was. Yeah, it'd be nice if this had a shit load of another six inches of power and then it'd be like unbelievable. Yeah. And then I could sell my sled for top dollar and retire from this dumb sport. Yeah. I could just go there and rent. You don't even need to bring your own helmet. Fuck, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully the sound's still working.
by yours, it didn't even move. See them when he went up by, the... they started going sideways. Yeah. But the people in the buggy didn't care. They were oh, waving at me. I know. And, yeah. That's what I was, it was I got really neat footage of you driving and the horse in front of you. Cool. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I thought they were going over. Yep. She was when I went by her. She was holding on for dear life, like, like. I didn't know whether the driver was pissed off at us. The kids were all like, "Dad told me I was getting one of those for Christmas." They like mine, eh? All black, and, you know. <laughs> no, we didn't. The dogs. No. Really? Really? They're vicious? Some poor dog bitches, man. Where was that? Just when we were on the last stretch of road, just before we make the right. Oh, okay, yep. And the fucking, I leave is moving like this, the fucking dog come running out like this, look at him. Oh, yeah. I was coming in. <laughs> I almost had him right oh, in the fucking geez. chops. You ever seen a cat eat a dog? Just about did, eh? Going now, okay, can we go right around one more time? Oh. Trail's so nice, we did it twice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's so funny that you go through that scrapyard or where the trailer was, and I'm going like, How could we be so dumb? <laughs> okay, let's roll, bud.
right, that's enough wind noise and shaky GoPro work. Let's take these brats home. By the end of the day, the trails were getting pretty beat up. It was pretty evident that there was a lot of traffic due to the fact it was one of the last good days of snowmobiling left in southwestern Ontario. We took our usual pit stops and Highbinder taught us how to do the hokey pokey. Or something like that. We couldn't resist taking a beautiful sunset photo in front of the farm. We finally made it across the Bellwood Dam. And it's just a short rip there to the staging area. You may have heard that the Brat Pack stickers are panty removers, but Moose was taking it one step too far. I told him there was no need to disrobe in order to get a free sticker, and I let him be on his own for a while. Dave and Jay wanted extra so they had liners for their bird cages. And again we got to learn what Highbinder was going to do with my decals. All in all it was an awesome day and we all enjoyed meeting Mark Bow and look forward to many more miles next season.